to my channel. It's Shantae's Away here today. And today I'm going to be showing you guys my Manuka Honey Mask that I just absolutely love. It helps improve brightness of the skin. Also um, helps with dark circles if you're suffering from any type of dark circles. I have a lot um, of issues with my under eyes. But we're gonna be doing that today and this is gonna be a super simple mask for you guys. But before I get into the actual video, I do want to first shout out Ana Luisa. I'm wearing all of their jewelry today and I have talked about this company a lot on my channel before. You guys have heard me speak about their jewelry and I just wanted to show you guys some of the pieces that I have on today. This video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. So I wanted to let you guys know today that they're having a sell right now. They're having 15% off of all of their products. I wanted to make sure that I let you guys know about that still because their pieces do start out at $39 dollars and range up to the higher end pieces from there so there's something for everybody and you also get that extra 15 percent off they have long lasting pieces that are actually crafted with care which is why i actually like their jewelry and they also offer a 360 day warranty to replace or refund any piece that doesn't meet your expectations so i think that's pretty awesome so I chose these pieces that I have already showed you guys here in the close-up. So I have this bracelet that's pretty much a very simple bracelet. I get very dainty pieces because I like to have them very versatile and I just don't like super bulky. I got this right here which is a ring that I have in black as well and I believe this is Lapazoi but I'll put the exact name here um, right here for you guys and I also have this bracelet here which you guys have seen as well and it's another very dainty piece that can be worn with pretty much anything very simple and I don't like too much over the top but they do have more over the top pieces on their website if you want to get something that's a little bit more than the like simple statement pieces okay guys so we're gonna go ahead and get right into the video so that I can show you guys my Manuka honey face mask so let's go ahead and get right to it okay guys so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the mask so first you're gonna need Manuka honey Manuka honey is known to heal the skin and it also promotes clearer skin because of its abilities to heal wounds and scrapes and even reduce redness and inflammation. Next, you're going to need turmeric, which is excellent for acne because of its antibacterial properties. Next, you're going to need lemon, which is great for brightening the skin. Okay guys, so for most of the ingredients, I always eyeball, but I will try to give you guys the most accurate descriptions that I can give you and measurements. So I went ahead and take a little bit over a teaspoon and I put that into a bowl and now I'm just going to take half of a lemon and I'm going to squeeze that in there as well and then mix it all up and it's going to appear very watery, but it's okay because you're going to add in the Manuka honey, which is going to make it a lot thicker. You can also add in yogurt if you like as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and take about half a teaspoon of Manuka honey, but as you guys will see throughout the video, I ended up adding more. At the end of the video, I believe I add about four tablespoons of the Manuka honey, but it's just depending on how thick or runny you want your mask to be. I actually wanted my mask to be more on the thick and thicker side and then when I actually put it on my face, it still wasn't as thick as I would like it to be. So you can just judge from there. And if you add in yogurt or something like that, then you're definitely going to have a more thicker mask and you won't have to worry about adding so much Manuka honey. But I don't have yogurt and I just wanted to use these few ingredients. <music> Okay, so let's go ahead and apply the mask. Now I will tell you guys that when you apply this mask, I suggest that you have gloves. I didn't put on any gloves. I just used my bare hands. It's a lot, not very messy, but not as messy as I thought it would be. And it didn't stain my nails, but just in case, you might wanna put on some gloves. Also have some type of towel underneath you in case the mask decides to drop on the floor. Um, you don't want that to get all over your floor because it is pretty sticky. 
And those are my few tips for you guys, but we're just going to go ahead and apply the mask and this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, any type of spots that are darker or that you want to concentrate on more, you just want to put more of the mask or concentrate on the area a bit more. been some time i went and took a shower of course and i actually washed off the mask in the shower because it was super messy and i wanted to do it on camera but it was just dripping everywhere um it did kind of absorb into my skin after a while um so i left it on for about 30 minutes and it actually started to you know kind of like absorb into my skin. Um, of course you can do it over the sink, but this is a very sticky mask, so keep that in mind. My skin feels amazing. Um, I definitely noticed a difference immediately. I even asked Naraya if my skin looked brighter and she said yes. So this mask absolutely works for brightening the skin and giving like that bright glowy type of look, but it's also a very natural glow. Um, so it's raining outside, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but I do have a more natural type of glow going on. And I just love that. I love that you can do that with natural ingredients that are just right in your kitchen. Manuka honey can be expensive, I know, but it is such a great um, ingredient to have. It really does work great for the skin. So turmeric as well, and of course you guys know that I put lemon in there as well. They all work together to really brighten the skin. So if you're having actual dark spots on your face, as you guys know, I don't have any dark spots, but I mentioned that my under eyes sometimes are an issue. Um, you can use this, I would suggest bi-weekly. Um, if you want to use it weekly, you can, but I actually would suggest bi-weekly. And I also would suggest that you um, make sure that you're paying attention to the way your skin's reacting to the mask. Nonetheless, this is a mask that is good for all skin types, but always test it out on a small portion of your skin to just to make sure. Um, but I hope you guys try out this mask. If you do, let me know, come back to this video, let me know if you try it out and how you thought about it and if you're gonna try it out again. Also, thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed. Um, don't forget to click that thumbs up and also check down in the description box for the sale so that you can get you some jewelry pieces and gift it to a friend or to yourself if you want to do like a self-care type of Valentine's Day, um, make sure that you go ahead and click the link down below. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and go and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.